What is going on guys? In this video, I'll be going over the best way to level up the aerobatics class here on the crew too. Now we can all agree this might be one of the most annoying classes in this game to level up. And while I think any of the planes could probably complete most of the events in this game, I for one will be running the Politis PC-21. This is basically my favorite plane to use on events. And if there was like a hybrid race or something in like a summer where you had to race in a rally raid race, which unfortunately those do show up sometimes, I will then run the Zivco Edge. I do love that thing for racing. But nonetheless, I would say the Politis would be a great all around plane i do believe this is the first plane you get as well now if you are wondering for this i will be running a loot digger set but the perks on this might be a little bit different so normally on the loot digger set you will want to aim for gold finder and lucky but for the aerobatics class i will recommend going after magnificent now the main reason for this is this will help you increase your score in the aerobatics events and i feel like this is a must in order to get this completed especially on ace because we can all admit some of these events on ace can be pretty annoying to do and i know a lot of players are not big fans of these planes which i honestly cannot blame you. I really do not use the aerobatics planes literally at all unless I have to. Luckily you can actually use the air race planes on most of the skills in the summit so you really only need the aerobatics planes for the actual events but they do unfortunately show up in the summits a good amount so having these maxed out might not be a bad idea but anyway guys let's go jump into my favorite race you can actually level these planes up in. Now you could easily max out the aerobatics planes probably by just doing the events spread around the map but personally guys I have barely done any of these. Most of them I don't even have one completed on and then the others I only only have one of them completed. I just did not enjoy doing any of these aerobatic missions at all. Now for me, the easiest event I found to grind is going to be the one in the keys all the way over here. Now I noticed this is the easiest one to follow and luckily the challenges in this actual event are insanely easy to do in a little tiny area in the keys and I just found this to be the easiest mission overall to do. So one of the biggest things I noticed when grinding out these events a little bit, especially this one, is all the challenges are actually the same every time you guys jump into it, which is definitely my favorite thing about it, and that's why I really like doing this one. It's got to fly under bridges and all that, and it's literally right here. So you can pretty much start out. Now, if you are wondering, like I said, all the challenges will be the same every time, so they're not randomized in any way. You pretty much can do, like, flips or whatever you guys need to do to get decent points in this one. I do think this one is probably going to be your best bet, only because it really isn't too bad. I'm getting really close to the water right now, aren't I? Um, you don't really have to get max points on these, but it obviously will help a little bit. Um, you guys will have to loop and do certain things like that, and luckily you can actually stay around the bridges over here in the keys and pretty much complete most of the challenges pretty easily like right there already got the second one completed you are also on a time limit on these which will make this a little more frustrating than it should be to be honest i just like i said i don't really run these too often i feel like a lot of people will not be doing them or grinding them a lot i know in that uh one summit we had a while back had uh actually this exact same aerobatic event i know a lot of people were not having a good time with it so you guys can obviously do this spinning here um, careful if you guys are not good with motion and all that. I'm watching that part at least. Um, I want to let you all know that. You can also can go onto the bridges as well and get over 100 points. Obviously, depends on which uh, challenge you guys want to do first. But like I said, luckily, these are all the same every time. So that's one thing I really do like about it. When I was doing these first, that was one of the first things I was worried about. I was like, well, if these are actually randomized, am I going to have issues doing them? No, luckily, they are all the same. And you just have to complete all three challenges quickly as you can. Then get a good amount of points afterwards in that part as well so right there i completed that you'll get 500 points every time you actually complete the three challenges there now we got to go pretty much around in a circle you could pretty much spin here you could go around over to the bridge there as well to get as many points as you can i know you can get like almost a thousand points being how fast you guys are on these personally i'm not the greatest as you guys will see right there, I completely just failed at driving. So last challenge right here, let's go in there and do this one. So inverted flying, go upside down here. I do feel like these are going to be the most annoying. Now, they obviously can get a little more difficult the farther you get into the challenges, but luckily I don't find them too bad to do. Now for the nosedive, you guys want to go up a decent amount here, just like that. And I noticed depending on what your parts are, you normally can get done with this at this point here. And then we're going to pretty much spawn right back in here, which is a good thing. If, now, if you guys do crash, it won't really matter. I noticed it doesn't affect it too much. Now I'm going on the bridges here. Here, doing some spins and all that will get you guys as many points as possible hitting your nitro little things like that will help you get above the point threshold if you guys are not enjoying this either do not worry you're not alone it's pretty decent but i'm gonna show you guys the other way i do this right now right after the parts come out uh this next way is kind of funny you can also level up every other class doing this as well so here are the parts you guys get with loot digger you get a ton there so it does obviously help if you don't have loot digger you'll still get like three or so parts maybe every time maybe four depending on how nice the game is to you anyway let's jump into the other way right now now moving over to my favorite way to level up the aerobags class and i do think this is the best and funnest way to do so first thing you guys want to do is go over to the plane you guys want to use in this class and make sure you favorite it so you can be able to switch to it on the go and all that when you guys are flying around so backing out of here what is the other way you can level the 
the planes up. Well, to be honest, the way I actually did this is I was normally just flying around uh, randomly for pretty much hours on end. It actually didn't take as long as I thought, and I'd pick up the live reward crates that spawn around. Now, a lot of people would be like, wait, that's it? Well, to be honest, this is a really easy way to do this and leveling these planes up, especially because you don't have to touch them. You could drive around with one of your favorite cars or use like a different plane or a boat and just pretty much cruise around, and you'll stumble upon these live rewards pretty often. Now, if you obviously have the live reward sniffer set, that will make this a lot easier to do. I'm just flying around over here in Miami. Um, you guys will find these pretty easily. You can also get on the affixed stats and put on the collector perk on there as well. And I thought it was more fun to just fly around in one of the planes. You can even use an air race plane if you want to get around a little bit faster and then immediately switch over to the plane you guys are using there. Obviously, I can't because I'm already in this plane right now. But pretty much just flying around until you guys find the first live reward, which normally they're pretty quick. I noticed depending on the areas, you guys might be able to find them a little bit easier. When I was up in the mountains toward like the snowy area up there, I noticed they were spawning a little more often for me. It kind of depends where you are on the map at the time. If you guys do have the live ward sniffer set, you'll probably be able to stumble upon these really easily, which is pretty crazy. Now, I switched over to the air race planes. It's much faster, and I recommend doing that if you guys are actually grinding these out, because these planes can hit like 250 miles an hour. I switched this plane, immediately found one of the crates here. So you guys can fly around in this circle to find it, and I'll show you the best way to do this as well. I really do feel like this is going to be your best option and the funnest way to level the aerobatics planes up if you guys don't feel like doing the missions. Trust me, you guys are not alone on that. They could definitely be pretty annoying. So getting close to it over here, once it starts beeping a little faster, switch over to your ground vehicle here, which I believe is the hovercraft for me, which it is, because I was recently doing the missions and stuff in this thing. So once you guys land down, obviously go over and find the live reward crate, which kind of depends where you are. It could be a little annoying to find it. I personally like drive around in a circle until it starts beeping faster and just follow that direction there. So now it is speeding up a little bit. I hit a bunch of trees. Don't mind me hitting all the trees here. So you gotta head back in this direction here. Now the cool thing about having your vehicle as like your favorited, uh, you know, airbags plane there, I'll show you guys why I was doing this as well. So here is the crate right here pulling up to it. So you guys can pull up to the crate here, immediately go over here and switch to your plane. And you guys can actually pick up the crate in the plane. I feel like this is going to be one of the best ways to level the planes up. This is exactly what I did. Highly recommend trying it out as well because I feel like it would be your best option there. You can get gold parts from these as well and normally you get decent parts. I got blue that time, a couple of purples. Now if you guys open a gold one, that will make a big difference on getting some gold parts. But I do recommend trying this route out as well. It's personally my favorite and like I said, if you have that live ward sniffer set on which i'm going to show you guys right now how big of a difference this set can make doing this now i also want to mention i know a lot of people probably will not have this set which i don't blame you because this is the last set i actually grinded for in the hypercar class i just never really thought i needed it until i realized how important this thing actually is for getting parts for other classes so i'm running collector and sensor on the entire set here and i recommend trying that out i did pay a lot of money to actually get this on here and a lot of the percentages aren't even maxed out I'll show you guys how much of a difference this makes. I'll start driving right now in this Bugatti here and trying to get the plane some parts here. So let's go immediately down this road right here. So I barely went down the street over here and I already found one of the live rewards with the actual sniffer set here. It's actually kind of crazy how good it is. You guys will notice the thing will start beeping right away. So it's going to be in this direction here. So let's go up here. I'll head toward it and it's actually kind of crazy i literally went down the street for like 30 seconds and found another one of these so if you guys are running the live reward sniffer set i would put it on one of your favorite classes just cruise around and when you guys get to the actual crate switch over to the planes and be your best but i did make a video on the live reward sniffer set i will show that so definitely check that out if you guys are interested but it definitely makes a big difference when leveling these vehicles up i found a lot more fun this way and obviously finding these crates could be a treasure hunt sometimes because they're sometimes right in front of you so finally locating the crate right here you guys will notice how fast this thing is beeping as well and how quickly it does it because it does find the crates a lot easier so switch over to the plane here and then grab the parts for the airbags class and i feel like like i said this is gonna be the funnest and non-frustrating way to level this class up thank you all so much for watching let me know your thoughts in the comments below and do you guys actually like running this class um i would say a lot of people do not